Olá, seja bem-vindo ao Campo Diplomático, espaço dedicado às relações do Brasil com o mundo. Eu sou Catiúcia Soto Maior e hoje recebo a embaixadora do Vietnã no Brasil, Pham Thi Kim Hoa. Formada em inglês, ela iniciou a carreira diplomática em 1995, com missões em Mianmar e na República Tcheca. Foi ainda diretora-geral do Departamento de Informação e Cultura do Ministério das Relações Exteriores no seu país. Está no Brasil desde 2020. Welcome, Ambassador. Thank you very much for your presence. Yeah. Uh, hi, Mr. Kachusa. Nice to meet you. And thank you very much for your invitation. I'm present here. Now let's start talking about the relation um, between Brazil and Vietnam. Can we say that our country is a strategic partner in agricultural cooperation, for example? Yeah, uh, Vietnam and Brazil is a comprehensive partnership. So we have a very important role of each other country. Uh, it's a very good relationship. And um, I wish that uh, we continue to strengthening and uh, to close tie the relationship uh, between uh, Brazil and Vietnam in uh, many fields, in political, in uh, trade, in business, and in cooperation, uh, also in agricultural field. So uh, I think that is uh, our uh, relationship between two countries will develop in the future. When we talk about agribusiness, what has uh, been increased in the last few years? Uh, uh, from uh, five years ago, uh, our trade turnover already increased. And uh, for the last year, we uh, gained 4.6 billion US dollar trade turnover between two countries. And uh, Brazil export uh, many things uh, from agricultural products to our country, the same as uh, cotton, uh, coffee and uh, soybean and cereal also and uh, meat livestock also uh, from Brazil and also from Vietnam we export uh, coffee also because uh, you see that Brazil and Vietnam have uh, two kind of different uh, coffee so we can train and uh, cooperation to uh, serve for uh, good quality coffee for the customer of both countries. Okay, so we buy your coffee and we sell coffee. Yes. And why can't we have like a blend of Arabica and Robusta? Because that's the difference between our coffees, right? Yes. Uh, you see that uh, the customer can choose uh, many kinds of coffee to serve for their breakfast. Uh, we can uh, try the Arabica and you also can uh, try the Robusta. So why we not uh, cooperation and to make one new uh, coffee, uh, blended coffee and instant coffee very uh, famous in the world between two countries. So we have uh, a lot of opportunity to, co to cooperation between uh, two countries to make the good quality for agricultural products. Uh, we're talking about coffee, that is a really important culture, but we also have uh, you have this fame on rice, right? You're the second uh, world producer. Yes. And what is the situation of this product in your country? And why we are not, uh, we don't have this uh, large trade in this matter? Uh, you see that before Vietnam is uh, uh, not the big uh, producer of rice. We have uh, import rice, but now we are the second one in the world to export rice. And Vietnam uh, famous with uh, ST34 is the first one right in the world, in the competition of the world of, that, of rice. And um, for the export right to Brazil is uh, not very big number because uh, I think the different country between uh, two people of two countries. So I hope that in the future uh, we can export more rice uh, to Brazil to introduce our good quality rice to Brazil people. And what is the role of agribusiness in your country? Agricultural product uh, is a, a high important role in GDP. It contributes a lot of uh, our economy because uh, uh, it's uh, about 2.3% uh, of GDP in our country. Yes. 
And can we say that you are going to expand? What is the situation, the role of agribusiness? Because you told me that um, because you're a small country, uh, you invest uh, in the farm families, that what you have there today. What is the situation and the importance of this uh, kind of uh, job, this kind of work to your economy? You see that uh, if follow the chain in the world, now they can, uh, uh, they can use uh, modernization and also technology in the farm to help the farmer to make the good quality and not to waste a lot of energy, the labor house and labor force. So in Vietnam also we have uh, many policy to make the good policy opportunity for the farmer to um, high equip their farm with a new technolo technology to make the good quality uh, for their products and uh, to serve for the uh, high level market. The same uh, EU, the same uh, Japan, America and also Brazil also because uh, we want to produce good quality products for the uh, international market. Uh, we mentioned the GDP and the situation of uh, agribusiness in your country, and now you're talking about technology. Uh, can you say that innovation is, in the current situation, uh, not as important as it is in the rest of Asia, for example? Yeah, um, I think technology is very important for many fields, not only for agriculture. Uh, now they can use uh, high technology for the farm, for the big farm, and for the field also. They help the farmer to uh, collect the produce, the products, and uh, also for the processing. Uh, also they use technology to help the farmer to uh, make the good quality and to uh, help their um, produce and uh, quickly to uh, finish the habit so they can preserve for the good quality for their products. And uh, also the um, technology is used to help for the, our economic uh, development quickly. And do you have agreements in that matter, like uh, with other countries, maybe not with Brazil, but to improve the sector in your country? Yes, we have uh, many cooperation with the Holland, uh, England, and also Singapore. They uh, they uh, invest a lot of uh, high technology in our country, also from the America. Talking about uh, these cooperations and the relations with other countries, what about Mercosur? Uh, what is the situation today? You are studying and you are negotiating a free trade agreement with uh, the countries, right? Uh, as I mentioned before, it, uh, Brazil is a very uh, big, uh, important role for Vietnam because uh, Brazil is the biggest country in the Mercosur members. So we would like Brazil support for Vietnam, uh, have uh, the good relationship with the Mercosur member and uh, uh, start to negotiation with the Mercosur because uh, you see that um, Mercosur member not yet to get the common consensus uh, for the processing negotiation with Vietnam. If uh, we can start negotiation with the Mercosur, I think that uh, is uh, very good for um, both member because uh, Vietnam also have a, a big role in the Asian country. So Mercosur can enter to uh, ASEAN country through Vietnam. I also Vietnam can uh, come to the Mercosur market through the Brazil and Mercosur member. And how can we strengthen this relationship? Mm, I think we can uh, uh, concentrate in many things. Uh, we can exchange the uh, many level of uh, declaration. It's from the high delegation, from the minister delegation, and also for expert delegation to more understand for each other 
and we can uh, concentrate in the uh, chat uh, business and also for the uh, cooperation for the defense and for the security we have many things to uh, cooperation and to strengthening the relationship between uh, Vietnam and also ASEAN because uh, Vietnam is a member in ASEAN country also so we not only for Vietnam and Mercosur but for ASEAN and Mercosur also you mentioned multilateral cooperation with other countries how is the situation with Brazil today? You told me that it's a really important political relations. What are our governments doing to improve this relation? Mm, I think um, the government needs to more exchange the views and exchange the declaration uh, from the high level. Uh, Vietnam president also have a invite uh, your president to visit Vietnam. So in that visit, we can exchange many fields for political cooperation, for the international affair, uh, cooperation for the um, business cooperation, and also for the technology cooperation, because your country is very strong in technology and also in the uh, defense uh, produce, products and uh, also, Vietnam want to learn from Brazil, so you can uh, exchange uh, technology in both countries. And are there public policies that we can replicate here that you uh, got in your country that are really uh, helping the producers, for example? Um, in Vietnam, we have uh, many uh, good policy for produce. Yeah, we can. Uh, uh, educate the farmer to use uh, high technology and also we encourage the foreign uh, investor to uh, invest in Vietnam. We make the uh, low uh, rate tariff, low rate for uh, foreign investor and we uh, have free land for them to build the factory to produce uh, our agricultural products, so we have many privilege for the foreign investor. So also we have many policy to open the door for foreign investor and also we would like to invite uh, investor from Brazil to invest to Vietnam, especially in agricultural uh, field, because you have uh, many huge farm, you have uh, many big uh, technology and very good uh, uh, modernization machine so you can invest to Vietnam to help our farmer is uh, get better than in the future. So it's easy for someone that lives here for a Brazilian producer or a Brazilian investor to access your market? Yes, it's, uh, you see that uh, uh, we are in the processing to conclude the package for the for, uh, for products uh, between Vietnam and Brazil. is uh, Vietnam opened the market for Brazil to export uh, livestock like beef and meat and uh, also the melon to Vietnam. And also Vietnam export uh, shrimp and uh, cash feed to Brazil. And we always to want to serve the good quality products from many countries to our people and also the good quality uh, products of Vietnam to the foreigner. So uh, I think we always open the door for all the investors and especially for Brazil. And what about sustainability, environment, the climate change? How is Vietnam dealing with these matters? You see that uh, not only Vietnam, but for the world now have uh, a lot of challenges from the climate change. But Vietnam is the most influenced uh, by climate change. Now the weather in Vietnam is very hot and we uh, have uh, faced with the uh, drought and floods and the uh, big storm, uh, especially in the central of Vietnam. So we have uh, uh, many big propaganda to educate the people, not uh, destroy the forest, not fire and not cut the tree. 
so uh, also we make the big dam to prevent the sea level from the sea to uh, make the soil in the farm and uh, also we use uh, many uh, modernization system to make the fresh uh, for the soil land and to help the people in the center to prevent with the climate change. Uh, and what about the fact that uh, you are in Asia and we are always talking about internet and the 5G. Uh, is this kind of technology something uh, that is going to be introduced to the rural, a rural area or is something that you're take, it's going to take a little bit more time to get there? Yes, uh, now in Vietnam, uh, you can use internet and 5G everywhere. And uh, I know that uh, some uh, big farm, they use uh, new technology in the farm. They can use uh, internet to control, to uh, collect the products and to use for the, uh, the same for the flower farm. They can uh, turn on and turn off the power and to use the system to fresh the water for the flower by the internet also. They can save the energy and they can make the uh, produce with the high technology. Yes. But you also told me that as you have uh, a lot of family farmers, uh, the internet is not that important to this kind of producers, right? The work is being doing in a really I don't know, not a, f a family way or a really simpler way, right? And it's doing well. Yeah, uh, it uh, has uh, so many different kinds of uh, produ produce. We have a small family produce, uh, we have a big, uh, fam a big farm, but uh, we nowadays we encourage them to cooperate with each other to use a big farm and to use a high technology to serve for their life. So the style of the small local production is changing? Yes. Uh, and can you say how the pandemic affected this situation? Not only the small ones, but also the exportation and, and the exports and imports. How did the pandemic affect the, the commercial relations with other countries and inside your country? Yeah, you see that uh, now uh, the world have uh, uh, faced to the big challenge with the pandemic and also Vietnam also. We are at the beginning. Uh, we have a, uh, have a true target. One is the fight again with the COVID-19 and one is the develop our economy. And you know that uh, Vietnam is the one of 10 countries have a GDP 2.9% in 2020. It's a very, uh, very uh, surprise for us because uh, during the uh, pandemic time, it's a very difficult time, but we are also development in GDP. Um, Vietnam have, uh, until now, we have uh, over 5,600 cases and have, only 44 people died. And you see that uh, our government have uh, many good policy to fight again with the COVID-19. And also it's a uh, effect to our economic because uh, every country is closed the international door. It's no fly and uh, they limited the people go out and go in. So also for export and import also have influence by the COVID-19. But uh, I hope that in the future, in this year and in the next year, the world will control with the COVID-19 uh, pandemic and also we have uh, enough vaccine for the people so the economic will uh, develop again. Do you think uh, when it ends, and we hope it will be soon, uh, the economic will be will recover. Do you think the agriculture, the agribusiness is going to be an important part of this? Yes, uh, because you see that uh, uh, our agricultural sector is not only uh, serve enough the food f 
for our people, but it's also to export to um, get the money, to get the profits, to help for our economic development. So let's talk about the challenges. Brazil and Vietnam have something in common, like the coffee, not the same one, but it's something that we have in common. And what else do we have in common? What are the challenges that we have to deal with to uh, improve our relationship? Mm -hmm. You see that the big challenge between Vietnam and Brazil is the long distance and the difference with the time, uh, time line. Uh, in Vietnam, is a day life. In Brazil, it's a night life. So it's very difficult for the businessmen to contact with each other. Also, we get a long distance, and you see that the, uh, the price of transportation is very expensive. And uh, for transportation expensive, it makes the price of product increase. So it depends on the, uh, our government. If uh, we can uh, uh, make very good opportunity for the transportation for two countries, it uh, make the new uh, market for the new products between two countries. We can um, exchange many things for agricultural products also and for the um, clothes, for the sport uh, equipment, many things. And also the, for the computer, we export the computer to Brazil a lot. So, but I, I said a lot because uh, Brazil is the biggest in the Mercosur, but uh, for the potential between two countries is very small. We can make more potential for both uh, of, uh, our country. So, in the high level, in the, uh, from the government level, they have a good poli policy for both country and for the uh, lower level from minister. We can more exchange to make the new policy to cre create the good opportunity for both businessmen of both countries to find the uh, good field for cooperation. I think if we can do like that, we can make the more development between two countries. So we're going to talk about challenges and you gave me some opportunities. Yes. Now let's expand that and talk more about opportunities because we have these uh, difficulties. Of course, we um, have the long distance, we have the language, we have the culture. Yes. Uh, are there uh, things that we have in common that we can use to improve and to um, reinforce uh, this relation? Or you think the fact that we are so different is also something good to, to achieve something more in yeah. the commercial relations? Yeah, besides the challenge, we have uh, many things in common. We, um, we have uh, the same country, uh, we are very friendly. And also we use uh, diversified produce, products. And uh, we eat um, both bread and rice. And in Vietnam also, and we drink a lot of coffee. And uh, we have the same weather. So we have uh, many things in common. So, uh, and, but our rice uh, is different, right? You told me that the rice you eat yes. here is really different from the rice you eat there. Yes. yes. But we could uh, have the same rice, just like we can have the same coffee, right? Yes, uh, because uh, uh, if in the future we can cooperation, so we can uh, make the, uh, how, how can I say, we make the one kind of rice is common for both countries. So we can uh, exchange for export rice from Vietnam to Brazil and also we import rice from Brazil to make the, diversify the, the life of the people. We can choose many kinds of food. Now I'd like to know uh, your personal view uh, of Brazil. What do you think about our country? If you have some episode you'd like to share with us of something that you already lived here, of course, you got here during the pandemic. That's a really difficult time. But I guess you already know something about Brazil. And we'd like to know what do you feel about our country? 
uh, thank you very much for your very interesting question. But uh, you see that I'm a woman, uh, and I fly from Vietnam to here is a very long distance. But when I came here, I'm very surprised because uh, Brazil is a very big country. And when I was young, I'm uh, very interested with uh, your country with a big carnival. A carnival in the, in the road and uh, many sing and dance. It's uh, very happy and funny for the people. And also our country is very, very wanted to find one time. And also your country uh, is very famous with the football. But when I came here, I'm very surprised with many things, not only the carnival and uh, football. And the most important thing is the, the people of Brazil is very friendly, the same you. One more thing is the, your country is uh, diversified with uh, many uh, national. You are very uh, common with the Asian people. So when I am uh, go out, I am not feel I am lonely here. I feel very comfortable and very happy when I live in Brazil. I am so glad. Thank you very much, Madam Ambassador, for your time. Thank you very much. No campo diplomático de hoje, nós falamos sobre as relações comerciais do Brasil com o Vietnã e a possibilidade de trocas e parcerias, como um blend entre nossos cafés arábica e robusta. Você pode rever este programa e também outras entrevistas no nosso canal no YouTube. Aproveite para seguir a gente nas redes sociais, arroba agromaistv. Continue com a programação do Agromais, seu canal voltado para o agronegócio 24 horas. Obrigada pela companhia. A gente se vê.